The president is set to arrive in California next week, and Vice President Harris will be in Oakland tomorrow, both campaigning for Governor Newsom. The recall election now just one week away. CBS 13 Steve Large is live in Sacramento with the numbers showing lots of people, Steve, are already casting ballots in early voting. Yeah, we are here at the Sacramento County Election Headquarters. We've been here all afternoon, and we saw a steady stream of people pulling into this parking lot, pulling up to this ballot box drop-off, and making their recall vote a reality. One after another, people walked up or drove up. We're very anxious. To cast their recall votes in this Sacramento County ballot drop box. Who's in charge really matters. In Sacramento County, 30% of registered voters have already voted in the election. Mostly Democrats so far. More Republicans are expected to vote in person election day. Well, definitely people are engaged. The early turnout numbers are similar across the state, according to Political Data Incorporated's Paul Mitchell. We're at 28% turnout already. I'll tell you. Uh, you know, a month and a half ago, there might have been some political pundits who thought in a recall election, in a September, in an odd numbered year, that they might be expecting 35 to 40 percent turnout. There's no way that this is only going to be 35 to 40 percent turnout. This is a fight for the soul of California. Recall Newsom. The recall advertisements on both sides are now overwhelming airwaves. To help stop the Republican recall. With registered Democrats outnumbering Republicans two to one in California, the more people voting, the more likely a Newsom win. All you have to do is do the math. Steve Maviglio was spokesperson for the last governor to be recalled, Gray Davis. He credits the Newsom campaign for framing this as a Republican recall, with radio host Larry Elder now the leading challenger. They did an amazing job of keeping every Democrat out of this race. An election day a week away. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see how it turns out. Ballots are already filling up election drop boxes. And just like in the November general election, uh, experts are now seeing this new trend where Republicans, re registered Republicans, are actually waiting until Election Day to vote in person. So come Tuesday, there could be a surge in Republican votes in the ballots that day alone. Yeah, it could be interesting. We'll be here to cover it for you. Steve, thank you.